Hi, Oliver Inquist here. This video is about how I use the Line 6 Helix in everyday use, both live and in the studio. It's a powerful and fantastic tool. I would like to mention that this video is not sponsored, but I am a part of the Yamaha and Line 6 family. So starting out with the chain, this is my Yamaha Revstar. It has been refinished, but I will make another video about this guitar someday. So from the guitar, we go to the Helix, and from the Helix to power caps, I have two power caps, Line 6 power caps, one by 12. And from the power caps directly to, in this case, Cubase for recording. I will also use an expression pedal for some of the features in the Helix. I made another Helix video called How to Set Up the Helix as a Pro, where I am explaining how to set up your Helix with this preset so you can use it at its full potential. If you haven't seen that video, please go and see it after this. I will link to the video in the description below. The purpose with this video is to hear how the OE Helix preset sounds like. I will walk you through my eight snapshots and show you how I incorporate the Stompbox mode where I can turn pedals on and off. But first, let me explain the three modes that Helix can be operated in. Preset, Stompbox mode, and Snapshot. Starting with preset mode, actually, I see the preset mode as a pedal board. For example, preset 1 is my main pedal board, and preset 2 is my other main pedal board, but with some slight differences. Maybe some other drives or some other amps. If I press bank on the Helix, my preset starts to flash. So here's my preset 1, that's called the OE2020 PC. PC stands for power cap. So I click that and I'm in my main pedal board. Stompbox mode is like an analog pedal board where you can have up to 8 or 10 stompboxes. If we look at the helix and press mode, this layer comes up. This is my stompbox mode. Here, you can freely have up to eight or 10 stompboxes. I can turn on and off different pedals like Delay, Cosmos Echo, and so on. I just press mode again, and I'm back to snapshot mode. Moving on to snapshot mode. I heard a lot of people being confused over snapshots. I even heard some of them call it Snapchat. But I think the confusion has more to do with the name Snapchat. I think so. But it's actually quite simple. I see the snapshot mode as a loop switcher that you can have on an analog pedal board. So you can program the loop switcher to turn on more than one pedal at a time. If we look at the Helix, I'm on snapshot 1. If I switch to snapshot 7, a lot is going on on the display. If I go back to snapshot 1, you can see I have a compressor, I have an amp, I have a volume pedal, and a reverb plate. If I go to snapshot 7, well, a drive pedal comes on, I switch amp, I still have the volume pedal, and here's my reverb. So, as you can see, it's like a loop switcher. But the snapshot mode doesn't end here, because it's digital. So why not let it control almost anything in a preset? The snapshot mode can control all parameters in a preset. So here on snapshot 1, I programmed 
the channel one drive on my matchstick amp to be 2.3. If I switch to snapshot five, this parameter goes to 3.3. Let me give you another example. I'm on snapshot one. I only have one drive pedal in this preset. So I want to change some of the parameters depending on what amp I'm using. So on my clean amp, I use the drive sometimes when the parameters is on 1.2 and level is on 7.3. If I switch to my other amp, my high gain amp, these parameters switch. The tone goes to 0, 0.0 and the level goes to 6.5. I even programmed the snapshots to switch speaker model in my power caps. But that would be explained in another video. Last but not least, when you control the helix with snapshots, you can have spillover, also called trails. So all your repeated effects will play out. Let me demonstrate. If I, for example, have this long, dreamy shimmer verb, The next thing I'm going to move on to is to play through all the different snapshots so you can hear how this preset works and sounds.
the sound of the preset and just to let you know it's on sale right now at my website thank you so much i hope you like the video oliver inquist over and out